Hey guys, welcome back to Gaming Loop. In this one, we're going to be joined by Dishwasher, and uh, yeah, she's going to talk about Stardew Valley. Hello. Hi there. Okay, um, so yeah, is there anything you want to say before we start on the questions? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, let's get right into on into it then. Um, so yeah, what is the game you're picking? Pretty much Stardew Valley. We um, all know. Yeah. Yeah. Stardew Valley. Um, so yeah, first thing, what do you do in the game? Um, well, you're given this farm, which you inherit from your grandpa, and okay. you have to look after it, maintain it, get seeds, and you become friendly with the people in the village next to you, and as the game develops, a little bit more storyline comes into it. Nice. And the main goal is to basically just have fun, I guess. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Um, so, uh, is there any characters in it, or is uh, there just yeah, there's the... a few. There's the okay. townspeople. Um, there's the shopkeeper. Um, there's the far other farmer who sells animals and stuff. Very nice. Okay, and uh, yeah, who's your favorite character? Would you say? Uh, probably Shane. He has a big backstory behind him. Um, like, nice. you can marry him and stuff later in game. Oh. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, next question is, what is your favorite part of the game, would you say? Uh, my favorite part is just the fact that it's so free. Like, you can take the days as it comes, or you can try and speed them up a bit just to get a bit more of the story. Yeah. But you can just farm, like, very peaceful, very relaxing. Yeah. So, um, what kind of stuff do you farm in the game, then, would you say? Uh, well, it depends on the season you're in. Like, um, in winter, there's, like, different things to say. Summer, which you can plant fruit trees, and you can grow wheat, and potatoes and carrots. Yeah, that's cool how there's different seasons that do different, um, yeah. crops. Um, okay, uh, next thing. So, what is your best, uh, story slash experience? while playing the game, would you say? Um, well, on my old Switch, I had um, this best, this like really good save file, which mm -hmm. had so many achievements and so much stuff that I had completed. Um, I had like, gone married and I'd completed the grandpa storyline and nice. I had done the, the little community center bit. Yeah. So, there's different storylines for the game? Yeah. That's like, nice. there's two, which is the community service um, storyline and then the Jojo Mart storyline. Nice. Um, so, yeah, what exactly is the story then? Um, well, the main aspect of it is just you watch the game develop as you learn more about the different people in town. Um, and I think the community center one is you have to refurbish the center, which is uh, which has tons of little spiritual beings inside. Yeah. Who give you gifts as you progress refurbishing it. Nice. And I guess the Jojo Mart one is you help them to kind of take over. It's like one of these big corporate companies. Oh, that's that, that. Take over everyone. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Okay, so yeah, why do you think the game is so good then? Uh, it's really relaxing. Like, you can play it at any time and you'll just be completely chilled out. Nice, yeah. Um, so, yeah, what is your thing to do in the game, let's say? Um, I love fishing. Like, you can catch all different types of fish. Uh, sometimes it can be a bit annoying when you don't get the big ones, because uh, sometimes they're much harder to catch. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, what consoles is it on then? What devices are you Um, I think it's on most consoles, like PS4, Xbox, Switch, and then it's on PC too. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, any games similar to this that you could pick uh, out? Uh, well, Animal Crossing slightly. Yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so what is the community of the game like? Uh, really nice. Like, um, most people play it are just really nice. Okay. Um, 
I'm trying to think of some questions that aren't here. <laughs> um, yeah, why do you like the game? Um, I like it because it's a really nice game. Like, it's so fleshed out and complete, and I love the, like, kind of almost 8-bit style of the game. Yeah. Uh, everything just runs so smooth, smoothly, you can really tell there was a lot of thought put into it. Yeah. So it, the graphics in it is, like, 8-bit and stuff. Yeah. Is that right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, you don't have a YouTuber Twitch, am I correct here? About that? No, not yet. Hopefully. Okay, nice. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna move on to general gaming then, I guess. Um. So yeah, uh, what do you do? Other, what games do you play other than the game you picked? Uh, well, Subnautica is big one. Uh, Minecraft, Breath of the Wild, um. Animal Crossing sometimes if I'm in the right mood. Uh, yeah. Super Smash Bros. Mario Kart. Very nice. Um. Okay. Uh. So yeah, what is the best story slash experience you have with gaming? Then. Uh. So like the best game I've ever played. Pretty much, yeah. Uh. Well, I'd say mainly Breath of the Wild, actually. Yeah. Breath of the Wild looks cool, yeah. Yeah, it's just so visually stunning, with also a really nice fleshed out storyline. Yeah. yeah. I'd agree to that. Okay. Um, yeah, what do you think about the community of gaming? Uh, it can- some people can be really nice, you know? Yeah. Um, different aspects of it, kinda meh, but most of it, just like, really nice. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, let's move over to Discord. Nice. Yeah, just say anything about Discord, pretty much, I guess, <laughs> at this point. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's good for talking. It's good for talking to different people, different servers. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, okay, um... Hmm, also trying to think of new other questions. Um... What do you think of Twitter then? It's alright. Bit of a minefield. Yeah. And what do you think about Reddit? I don't really use it that much actually. Oh. Yeah, um I use I didn't use Reddit a long time ago, but then I kind of opened up into it and now I just scroll for ages because I joined loads of groups <laughs> for different yeah. games I like and it just it's pretty much my brain. But like, just yeah. in a reddit thingy, so, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, why did you start gaming? Uh, well, this, uh, started, like, you couldn't really say before that, but, um, 2019, I got my Switch, which was my mm -hmm. first console, which I actually owned myself. And then, nice. just after that, I started getting really into it. Uh, yeah getting new games, like, that was a pivotal point for me, that, like, I think it's 2019, it should be. Yeah. It definitely should be 2019. Um, that's, I just started getting new games, and then I realized, oh, I can get games on my laptop too, so that's just what I did. Here yeah. I am, playing tons of different games. Mm, yeah. It's pretty cool. I haven't gotten into that, I don't know what I've done. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the first game I probably looked at was probably Cut the Rope and Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, that was like the pretty much the two first games I started playing. And then I noticed Minecraft and that's when pretty much everything changed. I love that game once I first played it. It was just an amazing experience to me. I played Minecraft on my tablet. Uh, you couldn't really call me gaming back then, but I played Minecraft like way back on my tablet. Yeah. Uh, with my brother and stuff. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then, kind of, I went to my friend's house, started playing some Roblox, and then I got Roblox myself. And then, once I got the PC, played Minecraft and Roblox and that. And then, I noticed Steam. So I was watching some videos, and um, 
I found Stick Fight the Game. It was probably the first game I ever got on Steam. And uh, yeah, it took me a long time to figure out how to play with friends, but yeah, we don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, um, got Gary's Mod, Mirror's Edge, and loads of other games. Um, hmm, trying to think of more questions again. Well, I mean, I did play on the Wii and like uh, yeah. the, uh, the DS before. Uh, yeah. like Yoshi's Island was my proper jam. I played that a lot. <laughs> yeah. That game looked very nice. Yeah. Um, um, also, I played on the PS2. Like, I'd always get my family to set that up for me. Yeah. And then before I got my Switch, I played on my brother's PS4. Yeah, nice. So. Um, yeah, what do you think of YouTube? It's pretty yeah. good. I think it's, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like, agree. I, I enjoy watching stuff on it. Yeah. Whenever I start watching a video on YouTube, I just have to watch another yeah, one, you just, know? Just, just go into a loophole. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think is, like, the next biggest game, or the game that you're probably going to get next? Um, well, I, I don't really know. I mean, I know, like, tons of Zelda games are coming out on Switch this year, which is really yeah. nice, so... They're probably in the next few games, to be yeah. honest. I saw the new I mean, Zelda trailer on um, YouTube, yeah. and it looks it looks insane. Yeah, um, Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm getting Mario All-Stars for my birthday, which is cool. Yeah, nice. Um, that's supposed to be really good. Yeah, so I've heard I'm good things about that. that game. Uh, yeah, next game I'd probably get would be, I don't know, um... Probably Rust and then Half Life Blue Shift because I've been trying to play all the Half Life games, so yeah. it'd be an achievement to get that one. And a lot. <laughs> yeah, and Rust just be fun to play with friends, you know, raiding people. I don't think I could defending. run out of my computer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like 11 gigabytes, not that much, and I think the RAM isn't that much either, so I don't know. I mean, I could try. Yeah, it's very expensive though, but you know, it is. I'll see. I'm waiting for it to go on deal. Um, hmm, okay, yeah, uh, anything you want to say before we kind of stop, I guess? Uh, not, um, I think covered quite a lot there. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, do you want to shout out your Discord then? Uh, dishwasher, uh, 6877. Okay, yeah, I'll put that down in the link description. Um, but yeah, goodbye, thank you. Okay. Um, so yeah, I know this was a bit of a short episode compared to the last one, um, but I just want to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! This is Bone Trussell by Toby Fox from Undertale.